This is a quick video I'm putting together a employee bonus program and the goal of this presentation is for a cleaning service this can apply to commercial cleaning janitorial carpet cleaning some of the details may be different based on your service but the, the, the goal is to create a bonus program but we're going to use a balanced approach or what is called a, a balanced scorecard because often what happens is I'm going to switch to the next slide <clears throat> and often what what happens is people will will talk amongst ourselves and we'll say well should I have an attendance bonus should I have one for being on time uh, equipment how about a, a equipment efficiency bonus uh, customer surveys or if you're in residential that would be reviews and instead of just having each individual one that can become confusing so instead one idea is to create a balanced scorecard and to use a point system and in in this case we are just going to use a five point system and for attendance for instance for a month this can be a monthly program and for an example for attendance they would lose a point for every day that they missed. And then you can apply it to being on time. They would lose a point for every, uh, every day that they were late. Inspections, uh, in, in this case, you would have to use your inspection system and use the same five point system, poor, satisfactory, excellent. And then you would just apply your inspections to the scorecard using the same one, two, three, four, five system. Uh, equipment. Uh, equipment is going to be different based on the service that you provide. Obviously, with like carpet cleaning, you're dealing with vans and uh, all kinds of tools. And then with commercial cleaning, you have vacuums, um, floor, various floor machines. And basically, they would lose a point for every time there was some kind of a problem or uh, equipment error malfunction f for any piece of equipment, they would lose a point. And then the customer survey uh, for residential, you'd probably want to ap apply a review system instead and maybe give them a point for every review or a point for, for every five reviews maybe for residential if you're a high volume company. Uh, now with commercial, we usually use less public reviews and instead use customer surveys. And monthly can be a little bit much, so you may have to do a quarterly customer survey and especially janitorial, maybe a, a quarterly one and just apply it for that three month period. And the best way, similar to inspections, would be to give the customer survey to say use the same point system. They're, they're going to rate your service based on 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, A, B, C, D, E, however you wanted to do it. And then that way, there would be a total of 25 points. And then this is where we switch to the point system and what, what it equals. Now, I just threw these numbers together, but the overall goal is if somebody had, is to make, if, if they get a perfect system, to make it a lot more than everything else. Now, $250 might be too much money for a, a, a commercial cleaning company with hundreds of employees that that could really add up so maybe it would only be a hundred dollars or fifty dollars this this is all relative to your situation I think 250 would definitely be fair for uh, a higher margin service like carpet cleaning or uh, project work type stuff I think that would that would be fair maybe even higher and in, in some situations but the point is how it it's way more money than the rest of these that you want to make it double or triple and then we just create a per progression that you know 25 points they get 250 20 points they get 100 15 50 
But the thing is, this is this this is the bad news right here. If they're getting as low as ten points out of a total of twenty-five, then not only are they not going to receive a bonus, but they are going to get the dreaded counseling session and to determine how we can help them improve and to figure out that situation. But in conclusion, this is just a simple way to create a balanced approach to your bonus system instead of just having one thing to create four or five. And, and maybe you even want to get more into this and weight each of these. Maybe attendance is more important to you than an inspection or a, equipment. You only want to weight it at 10%. That's if you really wanted to get into it. And that's maybe something that I can cover on a different blog. But for this one, I just want to keep this super simple.